Hey guys, welcome to another episode. Today we're gonna take a look at Canva and uh, especially using Canva to make explainer style videos. You know, lately uh, those whiteboard animations and explainer videos have been exploding over social media and over the past year, we've seen so many uh, new platforms emerge to, to create and to produce um, explainer style videos and animations. Basically the idea is that uh, you have a presentation uh, with uh, a nice pre-recorded voiceover and you have some icons and images fly in to explain the major points of what you're talking about. Explainer style videos are really engaging because you have this fast paced uh, animation and uh, also you can employ um, simple animations that convey your message clearly. Videos uh, that, uh, that use this style uh, alongside the whiteboard animations um, reach more engagement from uh, people and they're really well received as a sales video, an internal training, just as a presentation of a concept. I recently uh, became a Canva Pro user. I use it a lot for, for social media and right now they're running a promotion where you can get a whole team of five people for um, their regular monthly fee per one person, which is $13 per month or 120 for the whole year. I noticed that uh, Canva has some animation um, features and uh, I fused those uh, just to play around and uh, I'm gonna show you uh, what they can do. And the best part is that a lot of those are part of the free version. They currently have 11 animation styles. Six of those are available in the free version. You can go ahead and follow along even if you're not a Canva Pro user. By the way, guys, if you enjoy the videos, uh, Thumbs up would be awesome and a sub will be tremendously appreciated. So a lot of us are Canva users and um, I'm pretty sure that Canva is one of the largest platforms for uh, creating social media content. That's why employing this knowledge of the platform into uh, a new field like explainer videos um, seems like a great option to expand, um, be it the services you offer to your clients or just your own originality on social media. I wanted to see if this limited animation functionality can actually be used to produce something uh, passable, something that can be used in social media. So uh, let's just go ahead and dive straight into Canva. Okay, here's a design that I did for uh, Instagram stories and for Facebook stories. It's just a static image, but uh, with um, Canva's new feature, Animate, up here you can like, pretty much animate it however you like and uh, keep in mind that the first six are free and then you have five more that are part of the pro version. And I really like this one, the scrapbook. You can control the duration here and then export it as a video or a, a GIF file and uh, use it um, in your social media. So I was using that and I thought about um, what if we can use Canva to actually produce uh, explainer style videos which are really popular nowadays. Just go ahead, type in video. I'm gonna create a new video, just a blank video. And I'm gonna call it explainer video. We have uh, our like timeline here and uh, we can control how long each slide is. So first thing I wanna do here is I'm gonna start with a bright background color. This is one of our brand colors from our logo. Let's go ahead and add the text for our first slide. Here I wanna say, does your business use data? Okay, select this one, make it a lot bigger. Okay, make it all caps. I want it to show like that on two lines. I'm gonna center it right about here. And I'm also gonna add a shadow to it. And I want the shadow color to be dark. So I'm gonna pick this, our darkest uh, brand color. Okay, next thing, let's go to elements and look for a server rack and I've actually used one here. So I'm just gonna use this one to illustrate data and put it on top. And for now we just have a static image, but if we go to animate and uh, let's say use pop, then this pops up. That's first five seconds is a bit too much. So I'm just gonna bring it down to four. 
Okay, I like how this looks. And you can see now that it only shows us the, um, the appearance of the slide, but if we add a new slide or a new page here, and uh, then Canva will automatically animate out uh, also, not just animate in. So let's go ahead and create our second uh, page. I want this to, to alternate between uh, purple and white color. So I'm gonna change that to white. Let me just change that to four seconds as well so I don't forget to do that later. And uh, next thing uh, we're gonna do is I'm gonna add a heading. It, of course it does. So does your business use data? Of course it does. That's gonna be our premise, how we how we start. So to be like that, make it a lot bigger, get all caps, expand a bit, just put it here to the side, and we're gonna have an image here. I'm gonna add the shadow again and it automatically picks the last color, which is um, pretty good. And uh, then I'm gonna go to elements and uh, I'm gonna look for a laughing businessman. Uh, actually, I already did that and I have one here, so I'm just gonna use this one. Feel free to use any images you want. And uh, make sure if you're using the, the free version of, um, of Canva, you can still animate with the six top animations here, but uh, when you're looking for um, elements, if you want to exclude all the all the pro elements, you can go through here to the settings and just pick the free elements. Okay, so back here, we have our guy here on the side. I wanna add a bit more color here, so let's just add a rectangle. I'm gonna Rotate it slightly, expand it like that, move it to the back from the position menu. This blue kind of works, but it matches a bit with the costume. So let's just go ahead and try this uh, one of our highlight background colors uh, from our branding and just position it like that, maybe expand it a bit and have him around here. Yep, I think that looks good. And now let's animate him and um, let's try one of the free ones. No, this doesn't animate the image. Yeah, I think I like this one. It would have been nice if you could control that, uh, let's say the text right now, it comes from the left and uh, the, the guy comes from the right, which is not ideal, but I guess it gives it a bit more uh, dynamic. I want to extend extend that a bit just to make sure that uh, the animation is a bit more visible. I also don't want this black color actually, so let me just go ahead and I'm gonna pick this color. Blends a bit better with the purple. And the best part, like I said, is that now if, uh, if we look at our animation, we also get a pop out animation, not just a pop in. This is because we have a second page and if we come up here, we can always preview. Okay, that's our first two pages. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add a few more pages so we can see the final um, look. Okay, so here I have the final video with all the pages that I added. And I also added some music at the back from the music tab. It's um, I don't know, it sounds a bit funny and it kind of matches the, um, the ending of my video. So that's that's pretty cool. And so let's just go ahead and uh, see it. And you can see here that um, everything works really well and uh, all the images animate perfectly, but uh, there's some issue when you export the video you get those blinks here and there of the images. They're not a deal breaker, but um, but it would be nice to, to not have such blinks because let's say exactly where, uh, where I show up our logo around here, it just blinks on the exported video. Okay, so I also did a little bit of voiceover uh, in post. I just uh, find it a bit flat without a voiceover. And uh, keep in mind that usually voiceover is the first step and uh, I have another video for that focusing on, 
on how to produce explainer style videos that uh, I'm gonna leave a link in the description or a card up above. Let's just go ahead and see the final product with a little bit of voiceover added. Let me ask you this, does your business use data? To be honest, I'm pretty sure it does. And you probably spent countless hours analyzing it in Excel. If you're anything like me, that gets frustrating pretty fast. What would you think if I told you there was a better way? You heard me correctly, an easy alternative. What if I told you we're developing a brand new tool, which will give you automated analysis, which would help you with reports and dashboards, and most of all provide you with powerful insights to drive your business forward. Wouldn't it be amazing if all this can happen with the click of a button? Introducing Magnimetrics, the platform for automated analysis. Start your journey towards automated financial analysis at magnimetrics.com. As you saw, there's still some hiccups. There's no way to like fine tune things if you want to. And uh, this can be an issue for some, but for me actually in this specific context, it's a great thing because you don't have to go into uh, all, the, all the details of each animation. You just place everything and let the, 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 the algorithm figure it out. And uh, I gotta say it worked pretty well for, for social media, for YouTube, uh, for like presentations, uh, even introduction videos to work. It's pretty great and it's definitely something that I'm looking forward to, to use more in my content. They still need to iron a few things out. Uh, as you saw, sometimes when you export videos, you get those blinks in images, which is not ideal. Even with that, it still looks pretty great and I think it's 100% usable and uh, you can even offer it as uh, as services to clients. Okay guys, that was it for today. Thank you for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're not already and maybe even punch the bell icon to receive notifications every time I upload a new video. Till then, thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.